Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, purpose of this video is just to do a quick little uh, late fall, early winter trout session. It's actually going to get up to about 60 degrees this morning. Uh, it's about 48 right now, but just wanted to show you if you're new to this or you really want to get into the trout action, the, the fall and the winter months are unbelievable, um, especially here down in Charleston. We've got a great fishery. Uh, but the trout, redfish, obviously flounder, but trout and redfish are a big main indoor, uh, inshore species. Um, but then also, like I said, this fall bite, late fall, early beginning of winter bite, really heats up here. Um, but I'm just going to show you right here. I'm just in beautiful Charleston, like I said. Um, I'm right at the foot of the bridge, just fishing a point, just messing around. Should be able to get on some trout. I've already caught three or four. Uh, I had to wait for the sun to come up to be able to, to film this here. But uh, like I said, just watch here. I'm using right now. You can see, if you can see that in the water, that is a Z-Man Minnow Z with a Texas Eye jig head. Okay, and look at the movement. You don't have to really do much. It'll do it all on its own. It looks just like a bait fish. Crystal clear water. No better time to get on the fish. So here we go. Hope you enjoy this one. Okay, so while we got out here a little early, like I said, the plan is to try and go for some sheep's head at least for part of the day today. And then uh, we're gonna try for a trout bite until the tide drops out a little bit. Get closer to low tide. First cast. <laughs> There's a fish right there. Holy cow. This could be a good one. Should have the top water on. Going Z Man, Minnow Z, Texas Eye. Yep. Nice trout. Look at that. There's 14 inch trout right there. Probably 13, excuse me. Wow. First cast of the day. Smacked it. Look at that. All right, buddy. Where's your big brother? Oh, good little hit there. Keep coming, brother. There he is. There he is. Nice one. This is a bigger fish. No, nope, just hit it hard. <laughs> Same thing, another 13 incher. Just trying to pass the time, catching, getting a bite here, a little two fanger. Great little ambush point. There's a fish. I believe that's another trout. Oh yeah. Come up to the top. This head shakes, baby. Oh yeah, my friend. Thank you. Gosh, three fish on five casts. All right. Oh, another fatty trout. Quick release. See you, brother. <clears throat> Again, we're just trying to get on that bite. Early morning, man, the fish during this time of year when the water temperature is down in the 50s, the fish just come alive. My favorite time to fish is early morning. Um, just after the sun comes up, it's still not even up as you can see behind a bridge there, man. Beautiful scene. But just want to do this little quick trout tutorial. I'm fishing with the grub. You can get them on today. It's there's not a cloud in the sky, so for right now you could probably get them on the top water. But um I'm just throwing a grub right here. I got a Z-Man minnows, and I've got uh purple death is the color of choice, it doesn't really matter. Um, during the fall bite and, and early winter, but uh, the, the trout bite really turns on this time of year, and it's a fun thing to do if you can get out there, get some time on the water. All right, throw right back at the point. Again, any kind of moving water. You can see it here perfect, hopefully. Um, 
in the video where it's got eddies and turns and boils that's where they're going to like to sit uh, and wait for these bait fish to come wrap around this front here the front of this point there's a lot of structure it looks like a lot of wood old debris uh, stones rocks boulders so it's a good little spot to, to target and, and really dial in some fish it has all the elements here that you want for that early morning bite uh, trout like moving clean water and this is a perfect spot to find them again throw past the point i'll work the inside of the point if i don't get a bite here or there um, but the fish should be scattered all up and down here holding pretty tight yep there's one holding pretty tight to that to that structure and that point there we go just out of that fast moving water off to the side you may even once in a while get a red around there or so but i think this is a trout this is a nice trout here and a nice boy yes sir that right there is a nice trout so that's what we came for right there and it is 16 to 18 inches this is about about 16 and a half or so beautiful fish hungry as anything all right again just throwing towards moving water and then usually right as it comes out of it a little bit and that water slows down that's where they're going to smash it so let's see if they're still there you can use top water okay i like to use a rapala skitter walk uh, for that it's my go-to oh oh just missed it now look if they miss sometimes you can leave it there and they'll come back i think that one felt the hook he was on i didn't get to set the hook i was talking and moving the trolling motor but just make sure you don't get too close to the spot like too far in pay attention don't get too excited when you get a fish you'll you'll blow up your spot and spook the fish if you get too close to to where you where you're catching them and i'm just moving this okay i'm bringing it up in the water column I got a 3 16 out jig head. Oh man, they're smacking. 3 16 out jig head. We got about three feet of water. That's real close to the boat. Okay, so they'll fall. Like I said, you saw I got bumped there. Oh, just came off. Quick release. But I got bumped. Okay, hit the bait and it fell down. Thought it was injured. Boom, came back and smashed it again. So let me reset this and we'll get back out there. Sure his buddies are there still and we could probably do this all morning you know depending on if it stays cooler or not during the day you, you can catch them in that spot now these aren't the biggest trout you know i got the one at about 16 and a half 17 and the rest were 13 to 15 again that's out here just out of the current they're pretty thick though but if you want to have fun you got kids you could use a popping cork if you don't want to use the uh you know the artificials but if you're trying to learn how to use artificials no better time than this right now to learn they will hit everything any color color doesn't matter my winter color right here is always purple death but uh, i guess my all-time favorite <laughs> z-man to this date is the houdini love that one when they first came out with it i started fishing at it. i only threw that for about three years and smashed all kinds of fish but again any color will do right now the bite is, is very, very intense and it's on fire. Oh, there's a hit. Okay, now watch. I'll let it sink down and fish it a little slower like it's injured. And usually that one will pick it up or another one. With trout, you'll usually have, sometimes, excuse me, not usually, but sometimes you'll even have a chaser. Another fish, you know, just following it. So, there's a nice look at him right there in the water. They are hungry. <clears throat> That's about 15 inches. Gonna let him go though. Back with his buddies. Little one finger. He's trying to get up there with the yellow mouse. <clears throat> See you, brother.
All right, now that sun has just come over the trees. Water temperature is still cold, so it should stay on. But I find as the as the weather warms up throughout the day, the trout bite, depending on where you're at, moving water and what whatnot, it does slow down. But the morning and probably evening, you know, dawn and dusk, like if you're if you're a freshwater bass fisherman or something like that, you know, um, those are the times that, to really target them. They are hungry and they're eating. Now we're inside the point. I backed up a little bit just to see how far down they'll come. You know, if we don't get any here, oh, yep, he's on. This is literally every cast, folks, every cast. There it is. It's a little male right there. Okay, let's see if we can get one here on the last cast of the day. Last cast of the morning. Again, through around that point. Um, the tide is falling out pretty good here, so it's a little after 7 a.m. Like I said, I'm going to move on and target a different species, but I wanted to get this tutorial to you uh, to hopefully turn you on if you're not already doing it to artificials. Have your kids, your family, your wife, whatever it may be, your buddy. If you haven't done it yet so far get out there and throw some artificials during the uh during the fall and, and winter and you will be surprised at how fun it is and, and how aggressive these fish really are so that's it for today like i said that right there is your go-to setup it doesn't have to be this color but that is an unbelievable thing for the fall and winter all right guys we'll see you next time all right there you have it for your trout tutorial i hope you enjoyed that one if you're not throwing artificials right now the fall, late fall, early fall, whatever it may be, early winter, all through winter, it's the best time to try it. Uh, if you have kids, wife, family, friends, and they want to try something, if you're not already throwing those artificials, you know, now's the time to do it because um, they will smash it. Like I said, it's about a little after 7 a.m. So I've been out here for 30 minutes, literally caught 25, 26, 27 fish or so. I lost count. It was almost every cast. Um, still early in the morning. I'm going to go target something else here for the rest of the day. I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll have another video coming for you next week. Take care, guys, till I see you next time.